What's going on, guys? I'm back, and the battery bank is done. As you can see, everything is wired up. Go all the way down to the end. There's the end of it. We got the BMSs down in there. And we got this little piece here came out of the Nissan Leaf battery bank. I used that so I didn't have to bring the wire up and turn and put it on the top. So that was a lot easier and cleaner to me. And everything is finished up other than the LCD displays. I'm waiting on one to come and then I ordered two enclosures and it should be here. So when I get in, I'm going to put the LED displays in, but other than that, everything else is done. So, yeah, that's where we at, but this is just the update. Let's take a look at the software real quick on the phone. Alright guys, here's the software. And take a look at that. We've been running for 27 days and 20 hours, 40 minutes. We're currently sitting at 55.1 volts. Current coming out is 4.4, but you got to double that because I got two BMSs. So that'll be 8.8 .8 for a 9 now. You see the batteries is sitting at 46%. The power is that's coming out is 248 watts cell drift is at 0 0.006 and here is the voltage of each cell from 1 to 14 Right up here, you see cell high. That's the highest cell, 3.941. To the right of that is cell low. That's the lowest cell, 3.935. And then you got your cell average, which is 3.937. And you got your cell drift again. I talked about that. It's 0 0.005 now. You got your temperature of the batteries, 27 Celsius. Then I think that's about it. You can go back over here. You can see how I set up the BMS. I got my, I'm not going to go through all of this. I just flip through a little bit. And if you want to duplicate mines, you can if you want this is how I got mine set up and you can pause the video and you can take a look at how mine's is setting up but I'm no expert at this so take it with a grain of salt I'll let you take a look at all of this and then we're going to go out and take a look at the energy, see what it's looking like. That's it. Let's go out. Alright, we are here in the garage and the energy is setting at 55.0 volts. We're taking 9.77 amps out of the batteries at 537 watts. We're at 
233 amp hours and that's not completely dead that's only down to 49 volts so once we hit zero percent we'll be at 49 volts so we'll have a little power left in in the battery in both of the batteries when we hit um, 49 volts but that's the lowest I take mine down to is 49 so we have it charged up because today we didn't have any sun so we've been running on this since Saturday night the 29th and we have used a little more than 50% of the battery since then and if we continue to run this load here which is 530 something watts we could run for 20, 23 hours and 58 minutes well, I just went to 24 so yeah and I had someone ask me I don't know if he meant this gauge or if he meant the LCD display that came with the BMS's this one here is tied to both battery banks so when you see this amp hours this is reading both battery banks and at fully charged down to 49 percent I think it's 510 amp hours which is uh, I want to say all the way down to 35 volts if you go down to 35 volts that will be like 600 and almost 700 I believe amp hours so I have quite a bit left over when this thing switches over to the grid and start charging but let's take a look at the inverter 55.1 taking two amps out this one here reads a little lower it's at 54.5 let's see how many it's taking three amps out so as you can see that one's three this one is two so that's five But this one here is reading 9. And I'm going to explain to you why this is reading 9. Because on these inverters, it's not telling you the consumption of each one of these inverters. So this is coming through the shunt straight from the battery. So when you are seeing how many amps that we are using in the house, plus how many amps that this each one of these units are using just being on. So that's why you see that at 9.7 when this one here is sitting at 2 and this one here is sitting at 3 well it just went to 4 which makes 4 5 I mean amps so each one of these units is using a little more than an amp just in standby one day I'll turn everything off and we'll take a look and see exactly what it's using but guys I ain't gonna make this any longer I'm going to shut it down for the night I just want to give y'all update and uh, we will pick up again on another day Alright guys, have a go.